How we doing guys? It's John here bringing you another deck profile for you today. This time we're going to be taking a look at a standard list for Dauntless Drive Dragon. More specifically, I thought we would take a look at a deck that I think has a lot of potential with him. That means taking the Blade Master engine and combining it with the new clan selection uh, Dauntless Drive Dragon support. Now, before I get into all that, I will just say that I do think that there is a lot of potential here with Dauntless Drive Dragon. More specifically, the way you're able to build him, you're because he's so flexible in a matter of sense, because he is able to work well with any sort of grade three, there's a lot that you can do here. I decided to take a look at Blade Master. However, there is a Dragonic Overlord uh, build that is pretty strong. And if you guys are interested in that, uh, let me know in the comments down below and I can try and do a deck profile for that as well. And of course, guys, if you like the style of content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our videos as it does help the channel out greatly, and we do appreciate it. But without any further ado, let me go ahead and show you guys my list for Dauntless Drive Dragon. Alrighty, as always, the link for my deck log will be in the description down below if you guys need to take a physical look at any of my uh, deck profiles. However, the deck here is relatively straightforward and self-explanatory. I tried to combine both the restanding and pressuring power that is Dauntless Drive Dragon with the pressuring power of the Dragonic Blade Master Soin engine. Uh, overall, the deck actually works really well. Both of them work very synergistically with it, one another, hence why I think Dauntless Drive Dragon is such a strong card for the Kagero archetype, as it is really more of a support card for a lot of other great threes when it comes to the clan in general. Uh, therefore, you know, combine this with something like the Blade Master token, you can do multiple types of attacks, a lot of types of uh, restanding, and a lot of power ups because we'll go over it in a second. Dauntless Drive Dragon's effect when it comes to the plus 10,000 power doesn't specifically state that it needs to come from his drive check. Meaning, if you drive check with your token, you're going to see a lot of power plays there. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be going over my card by card, explain my reasonings for everything here, and all of that good stuff. So, the first card we're going to be talking about is, of course, the main grade 3 boss of the deck, and that is Dragonic Blade Master Soin. So guys, Soin is still a very strong card for the Kagero ar archetype, in my personal opinion. Having the ability to wipe out your opponent's board is no joke, and the fact that you're able to refund the discard cost with the Blade Master token is still very powerful. Not only that, but because Doha and Garen are searchable with one another, then the overall power to fulfill its full condition is relatively easy. Combining this with the re-standing power of Dauntless Drive Dragon makes these two a very, very powerful combo when they're able to go off. Putting critical triggers, of course, on this, along with the Dauntless Drive Dragon restand, means more pressure on top of your opponent and asking for a wide amount of guard. Overall, it's super fun and I enjoy it a lot. So the next card we're going to be running is, of course, the backup, the main man himself, the support we got from Clan Selection, and that is Dauntless Drive Dragon. So guys, Dauntless Drive Dragon is a really, really cool card for the Kagura archetype. Of course, it has the ability to inherit his restanding ability, hence giving it sort of like that nostalgia feel when it came to its original break ride ability. Not only that, but the fact that it can restand itself is also really powerful. So in case you don't even ride into Blade Master Soin, you can just ride Dauntless on top of Dauntless, and then the powers themselves stack. And then having the ability to just restand twice is absolutely insane. Um, yeah, he's a really powerful card, guys. Obviously, when it comes to the meta at this point in time, he is a bit slower, as you do need to ride a grade 3 on top of a grade 3 in order for the combo to successfully go off. However, it doesn't take away from the fact that it's still a very, very fun card, and it's super satisfying whenever you take out the ability and get it off successfully. So the next card we're going to be running is, of course, one of the new cards that came out of the clan selection, and that is Break Breath Dragon. So we're running three copies of Break Breath Dragon. It is a very strong card, and of course, if you can, you do want to try and make it your main grade 3 ride. However, there are times where I personally feel where the effect is a little... Um, counterintuitive for what the deck wants to try and do, but it still doesn't take away from the overall power pushes that Kagero and Dauntless Drive Dragon with Soin can perform. Overall though, he's a very strong card. 
He still can let you draw a card, which is very nice and not a bad addition to the deck. Overall though, the card is still very strong. It does have a lot of potential and a very powerful support when it comes to the Dauntless Drive Dragon archetype as a whole and a very good addition for the deck in general. The next card we're gonna be running should be kind of a no brainer. We are running a Dragonic Blade Master deck. So of course you want to run cards to support it. And of course the main man himself to support is going to be Wyvern Strike Doha. Guys, Doha is an amazing card, not just for Blade Master, but just for Kagero in general. Having the ability to basically search out a free unit is something that Kagero really can't do in a nutshell, but something it can do with Doha in combination with Garen. It's a very powerful card, plus the fact that, you know, if you combine this with Dauntless Drive Dragon, you wipe out the entire board, combining it with Blade Master Soen, it's a restanding Vanguard that wipes out the board. And when it comes to Doha and they do successfully either guard your token and or your Vanguard's restand attacks, then you give all trigger powers to your Doha and they cannot guard with normal units. Next after Doha, we're gonna be running more Blade Master support in the form of Dragon Dancer Farja. Farja is still a very powerful card, specifically for the Blade Master archetype. And of course it helps search for the key combo pieces in the deck being Doha and Garen. Overall, she's still a very um, minute card when it comes to the overall combo plays and potentials of the deck as a whole. So she's more of a setup card, but when need be, she is a very good 15K beater in her own right helping make magic numbers and helping push your opponent over the edge. And that's gonna do it for our grade twos. Now we're gonna be moving on to our grade ones. And the first grade one we're gonna be running is of course the main grade one himself. And that is Wyvern Strike Garen. Garen's still a very powerful card, having the ability to put multitudes of pressure because he's going to be a 13K beater if you wipe out the board. Or if your opponent is being conservative as well, if they don't know exactly the full extent of your deck, then you're able to punish them by having more numbers on the board. And then the fact that, you know, if worse comes to worse, he does have the ability to draw when he's boosting with Doha. So overall, very good card. Of course, we're gonna be running him as a four of because he's going to be one of the main extenders and beaters for the deck. After that, we're gonna be running four of another new card from the clan selection set, and that is Dragon Knight. He shot. He shot is actually an amazing addition to this deck, guys. It's crazy how good he is. So for those who don't know, his ability is very simple. When I'm placed on rearguard circle, counter blast one, soul blast one, draw a card, and then choose one of your opponent's backboard rearguards and retire it. So that in itself is also very strong. Helps get rid of annoying and pesky rearguards in the back row, as well as the ability to draw a card. So it's a basically free exchange of one for one, if you will. And then his other ability is something that's super, super good is when he is rode upon, you look at the top five cards of your deck, reveal up to one grade three, add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. So he is a grade three searcher in his own right, which is very good because normally how you want to set up the deck, you want to be able to ride into Dauntless Drive Dragon first and then ride into so So he's just a card to help you get the key combo pieces you need and a very good setup card. So of course he's going to be your main grade one ride. Hence, we're going to be playing him as a four of. Very nice addition to the deck. And then moving on to more grade three searchers, of course, we're gonna be running four copies of Lava Flow Dragon. Lava Flow Dragon is still a very powerful card, especially in V as a whole. Grade three searchers are still very powerful being able to search the key create three piece that you need, as well as in the case of Lava Flow, basically just being free with the fact that if you have more rear guards, it becomes a 13K beater, which is very easy to do with Kagero since you know the main purpose is to retire and push your opponent over the edge with multitudes amounts of pressure. So still very good guard guys. So four of it is a must for me. And that to that, we're gonna be running something that can be interchanged. I consider it more of a flex spot than anything else. And that is going to be two copies of Calamity Tower Wyvern. So Wyvern in a whole is just there for on the main push turns or on the main break ride turns for say, for example, you're going to ride Dauntless on top of Dauntless. If you call a Calamity Tower Wyvern, you Soul Blast one and give the 15K power to that Dauntless, then Dauntless himself just becomes a very, very big boy that your opponent has a hard time guarding against, especially if you give force two to Dauntless, that just means another crit on top of that. Combo that off with the plus 10K power from Dauntless's drive check ability, meaning there is a multitude amount of pressure coming from you that your opponent has to respond with in a very, very quick fashion, or they're gonna suffer the consequences. So very good card. Obviously, if you do not feel comfortable with it, it can be interchanged with something else, but as it stands right now, two copies of Calamity Tower Wyvern is good with me. And uh, yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for our grade ones, very straightforward. And now we're just gonna move into our triggers. So of course, we're gonna be running four draw sentinels, still very strong. You can, of course, if you'd like, be a little more pressure if you want. 
and add in the Dragon Knight Jeanette, the Sentinel Critical Trigger. But, you know, I do like having a good amount of cards in my hand because this deck is relatively slower. So I want to try and live as much as I possibly can. And drawing cards helps you live, surprisingly enough. Uh, to that, we're going to be running one more additional copy of a draw trigger. Therefore, we're going to be running five draw triggers in total. After that, we're going to be running a multitude of crits. We're going to be running four of the Angry Horn Dragon. We're going to be running three Dragonic Mage uh, Rakshasha for a total of seven critical triggers. And then, of course, we're going to be running four copies of our heal trigger, specifically Mother Orb Dragon, just because it kind of makes sense. You know, dragons with more dragons with more dragons. So, yeah, shout outs to the original uh, G series Mother Orb Dragon still putting in the good work. And then of course, it is technically a Blade Master deck, so we're gonna be running the Wyvern Kid Regala just to kind of make sense in terms of flavor, but of course it's just a normal V starter and V starters are just good in general. And uh, yeah guys, that's the list. Overall, it's very short and you know, it is a V deck. So of course it is going to be naturally more congested than something like a premium deck. However, that does not mean that the deck is any less powerful. I would say the deck is a lot of fun and it's a lot, there's a lot of potential there just because of two cards in themselves being able to synergistically work with one another, which is crazy. So if you think about it like that, then you know, what else can Kagero uh, synergistically work with in terms of Dauntless Drive Dragon? The possibilities are there, which is why this is such an amazing card for Kagero. Anyway guys, that is going to do it for my quick and simple deck profile for today. My name is John from Team Gradelock. I hope you enjoyed our videos and I will see you guys next time. Deuces!